Good morning, my friends. Today is a very special day. It's Monday, March 19th, and today is the day that I get my braces off. I've been waiting for this day for an incredibly long time, although, I mean, it feels really long, even though it was actually a really, really short two years and two months. I really can't complain. I got really lucky with how well my treatment went and how efficiently it went. But I've been looking forward to this day for it feels like a really long time and it was such a difficult two years um, and I just never, I don't even know what I thought it was going to feel like. I just can't believe the day is here. Like I'm 100% still in shock. Like I don't quite believe it. I still feel like someone's going to come out and just jump out at me and just be like, surprise, you still have like, you know you still have like you know another six months of treatment or whatever like something where they're just gonna like pull the rug out from under me but it's really done the treatment's really done and I have my debonding today it's gonna be about like a hour and a half long appointment I think for everything a uh, couple things that they did tell me after my appointment was they were hoping to like do some filing some IPR on the lower and upper teeth and then retract the teeth a little bit um, which they wanted to do and then hold me in braces for another month and I told them I didn't really want to do that and they also said it was more for aesthetics and not functionally necessary but somehow since they said that I've just been like fixated on it in my head um, and just felt super like annoyed and just like paranoid about it so I've been looking at different um, options and I've been looking up the Holly retainer apparently they can you know, a lot of people do IPR and continue retracting using the Holly retainer because they can attach these like spring wires to it to do some minimal movement and close some really tiny gaps. So I'm hopeful that, you know, maybe I can talk to my orthodontist about using that to kind of do the, the remainder of the filling of the gaps if they were, you know, willing to do the IPR today. And basically they want to do IPR on the sides of my big teeth as they're just like a little bit rounded and they could be shaved down a little bit so that the teeth themselves can move back as they're still a bit of an overjet. Which is okay, that's always going to be there just because that's the angle of my jaw and the angle of my bone and I don't have enough bone for my teeth to be all the way out so that they're just straight up and down. Like my teeth have to be kind of pushed so they're like this. So we'll see what's possible. But yeah, it's something to let you guys know. So my appointment's at 1.30. It's about 7 in the morning right now. I'm really excited. Uh, I'll take you guys along with me, and we'll go through it together. Bye! <laughs> hey everyone, so I'm outside um, the orthodontist. It's about five minutes till my appointment starts. Um, and I just FaceTime with my mom because she wanted to see my teeth one last time uh, Since it's my second time with braces. I told her well this time it really is the last time you're gonna see me with braces So soak it in so um, Yeah, I'm really excited last night. I could not sleep. I was awake all night just way too excited I was like a kid before Christmas. Honestly, I really did not sleep at all last night and I ended up reading a bunch of stuff about Anyway, so I started reading a bunch of stuff about how different people have actually, at the end of their treatment, felt that their teeth were kind of flaring a bit in the front, the interior teeth, and they asked their retainer if there was any way to like, you know, bring it back. And then the orthodontist had done the IPR on the anterior incisors, frontal incisors, and then used the Holly retainer specifically to retract the teeth and to close those gaps. So apparently, all you need to do is they need to get a special thing called a finger spring and attach it to the Holly retainer and that can do small movements and it can help close tiny gaps obviously not huge orthodontic movement that's what you would need braces for but to close small gaps and to uh, move teeth a little bit apparently into position you can totally do it with the retainer so I'm gonna ask them if they can still do the filing of the sides of the teeth and stuff and use a Holly retainer with a finger spring attached to close the gap and to retract the teeth a little bit more so yeah, let's see what they say. If they say no, then I've also made my peace with it and I'm not gonna fight it. So anyway, I gotta go in. So it was great. Uh, yeah, I'm just biting time because I'm super nervous. I've been like jumpy and jittery all day, just like in disbelief, I think. So anyway, I'm gonna save my battery for the actual debonding. So I'll see you guys soon.
Hello, it's me, Sans Braces. Anyway, so I just got out of my appointment and guys, I, I'm so happy right now. I honestly, it's very emotional, which might be a tad dramatic for some of you, but some of you might actually understand. It's a big moment. It wasn't even a really long treatment time. I think what is making this moment so amazing for me was how much like emotionally I kind of had to just persevere through the last two years. And I know it just sounds like ridiculous. There's so many worse things in the world. You know, people struggle with way more debilitating issues. But for me, this was a test of my patience, of my strength, of my willpower. So for me, it's it's quite an accomplishment to have, to have gotten here and I'm, so happy like I said I didn't sleep at all last night because I was so nervous and I was like tossing and turning like am I doing the right thing should I wait should I do this should I do that just like constantly questioning but you know what it worked out so I, I got into the appointment and immediately she didn't even have to take off the rubber bands or take the wire out or anything she just um, used I think she just used what they call I think like bird beak um, a wrench or something like that but she just immediately started cracking the brackets off of the glue which is kind of like the mid layer so it's not actually like taking it off of the the teeth or anything so they just she just cracked everything off and just pulled off the upper the upper wires and then the lower wires and then it was just the glue and I filmed that whole part so you know hopefully you guys will get something out of that uh, and then she was polishing for a long time she was using this like sharp kind of um, automated tool that was like scraping all the glue off and that was pretty sensitive it wasn't painful but um definitely i was a bit sensitive to it um so that it wasn't fun but it wasn't bad it you know it was manageable um so she was doing that for a while and she used this blue light and shown it on my teeth that would kind of pick up any bits that she hadn't gotten with the screw and then she'd go back in and like keep cleaning and getting it and sometimes it got really sensitive and i had to like take a minute and be like hold on and Let's take a breath and I have TMD as well which is uh, temporomandibular dysfunction just basically where your jaw kind of locks up so I kind of kept needing to take breaks and be like hold on let me unlock my jaw because it would actually like kind of lock up so um, yeah we did that for a while and then she kind of just kept uh, taking the glue away and um, yeah after that then she started polishing and polishing went on for a little while and it just felt great to have all that grime and stuff just like taken off and just be able to feel my teeth and it felt weird and kind of smooth and slimy but still it, it felt so right and natural and I'm just I'm so happy I don't I know I sound corny as hell right now but I'm so happy like I love my teeth look at my teeth they look great oh and then at the very end she uh, I asked her actually because I wanted to see if they'd be able to do that thing where they did the IPR and then were able to use the finger spring on the Holly retainer to retract the teeth more but then kind of like I expected she said there's less control it's possible but it's more risky because you don't have all the teeth kind of banded together so when things get retracted it might just move like one tooth at a time or you know in an unpredictable way so so they don't want to take that risk so she said it's better to just not do it and you know kind of stay where we are which I was totally fine with so we didn't do that and when she got the what's called like the filing thing at the very end like the sanding I forget the name of whatever it was that she was using but at the very end she used that to kind of straighten out the bottoms of my upper teeth because like I said they were both kind of angled like this towards the middle because they just were overgrown, they'd never like ground naturally on my lower teeth. So she just got a little thing and straightened them and that's why they look like this now. Cause before they were more like, see what I mean? Like they were kind of like bulbous on the side and rounded. So 
using this filing thing, she was able to straighten them. And now I'm just like, my teeth don't look bad at all. I was really concerned because I'd never thought about the whole bulbous tooth thing until they both mentioned it on my Friday appointment. And then I was like fixated on it all weekend. But I'm so glad that I didn't let it get to me because as soon as she did the filing, like my teeth look fine. I don't need to do anything else. This is the shape of my teeth. So that's one thing I've kept in mind a lot during my treatment is like being open to contouring and doing all these tricks and things to like make my teeth fit better and stuff. But at some point it's also like you want to kind of preserve some of the personality of your teeth because that's what makes it unique and different. And if everyone had the same set of like perfect like dolphin teeth, then that wouldn't be very exciting. So kind of use this time to you know really understand my own body's limits and what I think looks good for me and what might look perfect on someone else may not be the right bite or the right shape of teeth for me so I kind of just accepted that and yeah after she did that filing then she did a little bit more polishing we found a couple of stains here and there that she kind of helped polish off um, and then she handed me off to the technician who started um, who started taking the pictures and impressions so they did the standard intraoral photos which I think they kind of used to look at how your whole facial muscles and everything in structure has changed and then they did all the uh, photos inside the mouth which are not super fun because they use like this hot mirror and then they like have you like retract and pull your gums and your lips and this is not pretty and <laughs> I feel so bad the technician was helping me her hands were sweating because it was so hot that she kept like the camera kept slipping and <laughs> she couldn't get the picture so we I kind of had to like help her and oh man my lips were hurting after that but it was okay it was fun uh, and then she took this really cool like 3d scanning wand thing and took an impression of my teeth that was digital and it was recreating it on this computer screen as she was doing it. I remember now they did that also when they built my TPA I think I think they did that then or maybe they did it when I first started treatment because then this is just like a digital record that they keep online uh, as kind of just like a record of what the teeth look like before and after without having to make those molds which are like physical uh, things that you have that you have to keep in storage or something so this is digital which is nice um, yeah and then they actually did the old school impressions which is what they're gonna use to make the actual Holly retainer um, and yeah, so they're, they have all that stuff ready and they're gonna be sending that off to the lab on Wednesday. Today's Monday, so two days from now is when the lab picks it up. And then they'll be delivered on Friday, which I'll go back for my appointment. And they're gonna teach me all about the stuff to expect and how to use the retainer and what to do. But I'm definitely gonna have to wear it 24 seven. No excuses, which I'm totally on board with. I'm not about to screw up like the most difficult treatment of my life, so I'm gonna do it. I'll, I'll wear it 36 hours a day if I have to. But they did notice there's like a gap between my two front teeth, which um, needs to be closed. So the Holly retainer is gonna take care of that. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm gonna come back on Friday, finish up the rest of it. Um, they took impressions, yeah, all that. Brush my teeth, it felt so good. It felt so good to brush my teeth. I'm gonna go home and just like brush them for like three hours and floss them, but no, I'm also gonna pick up some whitening strips on my way home. Uh, so I can like get my teeth looking all nice and fancy for when I go back to work tomorrow and debut my new teeth. I'm so excited. I have so many people who are excited to see them. Uh, I'm very excited to see them. Can't stop looking at them. Look at those babies. Anyway, I'm starting to get a little bit narcissistic here, but you know what? Today's my day. Today is like Christmas for me. I felt like I felt like a little kid on the night before Christmas last night because I was so excited. I have a headache right now because I didn't sleep and I've just been like having like adrenaline coursing through because I've just been way too excited but it was worth it. I'm probably going to crash super hard tonight or maybe not. Now I'm going to be excited about showing my teeth off tomorrow so I'm not going to sleep because of that. Um, anyway, everything went well. Braces are off. Two years and two months later, you know, craziest journey of my life so far. Maybe not, that's exaggerating but really worthwhile. It taught me a lot about patience and going with the flow and also about being proactive and speaking your mind even in situations where you feel like you might not be qualified it's always good to at least voice what you're feeling so it's it gets taken into consideration so yeah um anyway so this is just like a post appointment kind of debrief i'll be doing a more proper sit down video with um the retainer and kind of explaining like my thoughts on the whole process and um, I still need to do a catch-up video on Marpy and things that I learned from that because people ask me constantly about that still. So, um, 
yeah, I still need to make my video for the second half of 2017. Anyway, a little preview here of what's happening now, so. All right, my hand's getting tired and I wanna go get something to eat. I'm starving and I wanna get my whitening strips and I wanna start living my life. Um, yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. Bye.